watching West Harper Community Sorry. Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. You're watching West Harper Community Television. For the community, by the community. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, wonderful day in the neighborhood, wonderful day in the neighborhood, and nobody can deny, everything, everything is, is all good, good in our hood. How y'all doing today? Fine. How are you? Good. Good to see you all. Good to see you too. That's what we're going to talk about today. What are we going to talk about? What's your plan for the summer? Now, guess what? What's your plan for the summer? That makes it personal, right? Yeah. I mean, what you plan to do. I'm going to start with you, Dante. What do you plan to do for the summer? Um, for the summer, I'm a, only first, I like to say, I only have 12 days of school left. So when I get out of school, I'm going to be chilling with my friends, sleepovers and whatnot. I always go to my friend's house every day. Um, what else? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to summer school. It's a suggestion. Suggestion, I think, yeah. And I may go to summer school to get more education. If not, I'm going to go to camp. And even if I do go to camp, I'm still going to have time to chill with my sister and go with my cousins and play. Yeah. That's why. All what right. I'm Sounds like a plan. <laughs> you know why I asked you what's your plan? Why did you ask? Because if a person don't have a plan or something in place that they actually want to do, they leave themselves open for all type of negativity. Say negativity. Negativity. They leave themselves open for peer pressure. Peer pressure. Peer pressure. You know what I mean when I say they leave themselves open for peer pressure? Yes. Yeah. They don't have no goals set. So the buddies can come up and say, man, come on, man, let's go do this. Let's go do that. Let's go do this. And usually when they say, let's go do this, let's go do that, it's trouble. Mm-hmm. So by you having a plan, you're not, nobody, you're not, you're not gonna let nobody or allow nobody to stop your plan, correct? Correct. Because you have a goal set, correct? correct? Correct. That's what's important. And I'm proud of you, Dante. Can I share with you why I'm proud of you? Why are you proud of me? For the last couple of years, you've been showing a great deal of leadership. Would you agree or disagree? I agree. And I've been observing that. You should be showing a great deal of leadership. How you, how you been making out in school so far? I've been doing good. Um, I recently just got a good um, a high score on a test. Got to be plus. Yeah, and I think that's very really good from before the end of the year. And I'm advanced now. Well, yeah. What did youth on you, each one teach you? What did Mr. Pops Neighborhood give you for an incentive on the last report you got? It reminded me to be myself and stay confident. What did you get for a reward? You remember? Um, uh, no. What did I get? How much money you got? Oh, I got twenty dollars. <laughs> you forgot that, man. What you do with it? Uh, um, I probably got me some clothes. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Deja. Yes, sir. What are your plans for the summer? Hmm. My plan is to first get out of school. Well, basically get out of junior year. Um, I'm not going to summer school. I don't need to. But school is over in about 17 days. And we have finals coming up. So my plan is to just get through finals so I could pass and be a senior. 
I have enough credits to be a senior also. Um, I'm going to focus on myself, not more so my friends, because it's not really going to get me nowhere. I'm going to just work for my cousin and babysit. And I'm going to chill with my brother whenever, you know, whenever I have the time. And I'm going to still focus on colleges and look at different colleges and what I have in mind, basically. And Can I share something with you? Yes, sir. I'm proud of you also. Now, you got a right to ask me why I say I'm proud of you. <laughs> why? Because of your behavior, because of your conduct. You are a great big sister. You are a tremendous big sister. As a matter of fact, if you don't mind, one day next week, I'd like, to leave, I'd like to use you for an example on how people like yourself show sisterhood to other so-called sisters. That when I say so-called sisters, we have young ladies as biological sisters to their brothers and to their siblings, mm -hmm. but they don't conduct themselves as big sisters. And you'll be a good example for showing them how they're supposed to conduct themselves as big sisters. Because I really, really admire how you look after your brother Dante. I do. As a matter of fact, I admire how you all look out for each other, period. Because the first thing Dante said, ma'am, I'm going to chill with my big sister. That's important. Because you know why? why? It's, it's encouraging to each other. It's encouraging to one another, isn't it? Yep. I need yep. help yep. him stay out of trouble. Now, yep. Get his grades together. Because the go. summer school stuff, I don't know what that was about. But. No, I'm, yeah, it's just a suggestion. I don't really know if I'm going. But I already talked to him about it. I said there shouldn't have been no suggestions about why you have to take extra courses for your classes because oh. your grades should have already been good enough. And I'm going to make sure my sisters stay out of trouble and make sure she's still doing good in school. Okay. And think now, about guess me. what? You all have a right to ask me, what are my plans for the summer? What are your, what are your plans, plans for the summer, for the summer? And guess what? You all are always a part of my plan because you know what my plan is for the summer? What? what? To talk to the city of Hartford talk to the state of Connecticut, and see if they'll put something in place constructive for you all to do where you all get an incentive, where you'll be able to help your parents out by getting y'all back to school clothes, mm -hmm. or getting your necessary educational tools you need for school, notebook, calculator, pens, paper, pads, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. isn't, that, isn't that important? Yes, that's yes. very important. So I'm working on trying to get you all some summer job. Ooh. Wouldn't that be a plus? Mm -hmm. yeah. With it, and also say DCF. DCF. What that mean? Department. 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 Children. 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 Wait, don't tell me. Wait. DCF. F. Facility. Families. Fam. Oh. Look at the <laughs> You remember what I said when I was younger, it was called DCYS. Yeah. Department of Children and Youth Services. Mm -hmm. you remember I told you how I started when I was nine years old when I removed from my mommy's house for my rebellious behavior. Mm -hmm. And it caused me to go to a place called Long Lane, Children's Village, CCP. Now, those are the names now. Back then, it was called Children's Village. Now, it's called Village for Families. Then it was Warehouse Point State Receiving Home. Now, they call it CCP, Connecticut Children's Place. Then it was Long Lane. Now, they call it CJTS, Connecticut Juvenile Training School. I'm showing you that pattern. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going back to those places and going to create some positive activities for them to do. Didn't y'all enjoy yourself down in New York two months yes. ago? Yes. Yes. Schomburg Museum in Harlem, right? It was yeah. awesome. You remember where we ate at? What was the restaurant we ate at? Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't say Sylvia's. You know Sylvia's overrated. Where did we eat at? I'll give you a clue. Ready? Aim. Aim. Keep going. No, if I keep going, it won't be a clue. No, yes, it will. No. I'll be yes. saying if I keep going. Just keep going. Okay, say Amy Ruth. Oh, yeah, Amy Ruth. Yeah, Amy Ruth. Was it a food good? Yes. So the next trip going to be... That food was awesome. The next trip <laughs> we're working on now is the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. Ellis Island is going to show you the history on how the different uh, people migrated here, and they had to stop off to get registered at Ellis Island. Mm. And we're going to do the Statue of Liberty, too. What's the Statue of Liberty? Uh oh, come on, No, 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 I know what it is. That's all right. Tell what me, are we going to be doing there? Like, the Statue of Liberty is huge. We're right? going to go up there? We're going to walk up. We're going to walk, we're gonna go up, walk around in the Statue of Liberty. Oh, all right. Climb the steps. That's awesome. Yeah. We'll ride the ferry. I don't know about, I don't know. Sure. You scared <laughs> of the ferry? No. 
love it. No, Deja. What is it? You scared of the fairy? Oh, no. I don't know what that is. The ferry is a similar to a boat. And you know what? Oh. You put cars, you put cars on there, people on there, it's more flat, right? And it goes back and forth from Staten Island to Manhattan. Um, yes, that would be a nice cruise or something like that. And so I'm going to create those activities for a lot of kids who don't get a chance to go out of state. And you all be able to share with them how it is to go out of state, how it feels to go out of state, and how you enjoyed it and how you earned it. Yes, Most of all, you earned it. After I went to Harlem, I want to live there now. Yeah. You would or you and wouldn't? I, I, I want to live there. Like, that's Why? my plan. Why? Because, like, it just seems like New York is for me. Like, everything there, just Harlem, like, I just loved every single thing there. Yeah. I loved everything. And how people were still just walking the streets with their shopping bags and everything there was just lovely to me. I love the hustle and bustle. I love yes. the stores. It got like yeah, it got restaurant like McDonald's. There's so much on stuff. Every the biggest the, that was the when I went to the candy store, that was the biggest candy store I ever went that, to. That candy store was NBC. Yeah. That's where the, that's where the national broadcast station is. National Broadcast Center? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what NBC was. They How about that McDonald's we saw with three floors? Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm saying. That's, that's a huge crazy. McDonald's, right? Like, I would love, I, I, I just want to live there. Yeah, like, like well, even when I got a, well, my sister got a phone case, I seen, uh, she didn't, I don't think she had enough money, but this man just let it go. That's yeah, like you else. do deals and stuff. Yeah. And I love how the ball, the ball, um, what is it called? New Year's Eve ball. Yeah, yeah. like, um, the how apple. that's just right there. Like, I just, I just, and when I get out of college, basically, you know, that's my plan. I will have the money, you know, I will look for a job. You know, New York broke up in barrels. Y'all know the slanguage for barrels? You know the different slanguage for barrels? No. Okay, yeah. Manhattan is the business district of New York. Y'all aware of that, right? Mm. Okay. That's why they call it money-making Manhattan. Then you got Brooklyn. Brooklyn have seven different barrels within Brooklyn, right? They mm -hmm. call it Crooklyn. They say bed -Stuy, do or die. It really means bedford Stuyvesant, right? Then they got Crown Heights. Those are different areas. Mm -hmm. Then you got Staten Island. They call it Staten Island soft and smiling. Mm -hmm. Then you got Long Island. You know what they call Long Island? No. Strong Island. Then they got the Bronx. They call it the Boogie Down Bronx. I went to the Bronx. You went to the Bronx? Mm -hmm. Then they say, Manhattan make it, Brooklyn take it. Those are different slogans. You know, each community have a slogan that young people try to live by. New York, New York. But, you know, we're getting away from that anyways. But that's just hype. That's how they get themselves hyped up. Mm -hmm. yep. But we don't, as young people now, we don't live up to those standards. Those are negative standards, right? Yes. Like Hartford. They call Hartford Homicide Hartford. They call it New Haven, gun waving New Haven. Those are the slogans that I'm trying to get the young people to get away from because they try to live up to those standards, mm -hmm. and those are negative standards. But I'm glad you all are leaders like you all are. You all don't even take to that hype, do you all? No, nope. absolutely not. Because that's all it is, is hype, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Used to be a song out in the 80s called Don't Believe the Hype, Public Enemy. Y'all ever heard of that? Nope. No. No? Nope. So tell me something, Dante. How you? Huh? Final report card going to look? I think it should look very well, depending on how I'm doing in school and on my work. Because, yeah, I've been getting high grades. Um, I recently, well, I got a paper from a teacher in math. I improved a lot. And, yeah. Can I ask you something, Dante? How would you like to be a big brother? That would be... I think you got the potential, too. Cool. Oh, like them big brother things? Right. And guess what? See, how old are you, Dante? 11. You're 11, right? Yep. But, Dante, you're mature enough now to be a big brother to an 8-year-old or a 7-year-old. So how long do you do it? Like, how long are you their brother? Well, you know, pretty much as long as the relationship continues. And what I mean by being a big brother, right? Dante alone, just his conduct alone, displays the whole attitude of being a big brother. You know, he displays that positive image. Mm -hmm. And other little kids look up to Dante and be like, wow, Dante, my brother. That's my big brother. And you know the best way to be a big brother, Dante? Is how would you like for somebody to be a big brother to you? Matter of fact, 
How would you like for a big brother to conduct himself around you or with you? That would be nice. I really want it. I, w I would want it. I did want to have a big brother. But you got what? A sister. <laughs> well, or I wanted a little brother. What? I, I still wanted a little got... sister. Well, that's, not, that's just too bad. Not in place of you. I'm just I saying. Know. Me too. I wanted a big brother. Not in place of me? Not in place <laughs> of you, but... My little brother is basically my god brother. His name is Jaden Hendrix. Um, yeah, he has a mother and a father. I know, I'm just saying. You know, it's a nice family, and I like to go over there and hang out with him. Have anybody ever told you all y'all got personality like your grandmother? Yes. <laughs> y'all, I mean, you know your grandmother, real open. Yeah. People yeah. person. That's my best friend. She's a real people person. She gets enthusiastic over different activities. If I tell her the circus coming, like yes. circus she delay, wrestling, yes. she gets excited like the kids. She jump behind the counter, get all excited. She you know, she works in the bank, and they all excited. All the customers love her. Yeah. Y'all act like y'all got that personality. Like you have to have to tell you something. What? So remember, I told you I wanted to be an R and neonatal nurse, right? Yes. I went to my guidance counselor, and she's basically saying. By the looks of my past math grades, she don't know if that would be the best choice for me, basically, because it takes a lot of math. And, you know, I'm just listening to her or whatever, but I'm still upset. Like, it looked like I was about to cry, kind of. And she was like, I'm not saying that you can't do it, but, you know, you know, basically saying let's look for other options. And I really was. I was like, okay, I can be a, a counselor. I could be, you know, a therapist. And I went to, I, talk, I was just saying it out loud in class to my teacher. And she had wrote me a, a sticky note, and she said, keep this with you. And it said, don't, don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. It's your dream, not theirs. And I really stuck to me because I was about to pick a whole nother career just because, you know, she said that the way my, because I'm not good at math, you know, the best in math that I wouldn't really be able to do it. And my teacher helped me out because... I, was, I needed some, you know, it's inspiration. Maybe? Well, guess what? I'm proud of. Guess what I'm proud of? What? I, I just paid attention to the whole conversation. And what I'm proud of is the way you handle the situation. Mm -hmm. Say conflict resolution. Conflict, conflict resolution. resolution. That's what you just displayed. Now, say to me, why? 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 You said to me, which you had a right to say to me, because you spoke your feelings. You said to me, Pop, I was a little upset and angry. Right? Yeah. Yep. And you had the right to feel that way. But guess what? You didn't let your anger take control. And that's what makes it different. You didn't let your anger get the best of you. Because then things would have got out of proportion and no resolution. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even... I, I like just, the way you handled just, that. It just made right, me Dante? want to do it more. Yep. Like, didn't your big sister handle that right? Yep. It just made me want to do it a lot more just because... It made me want to come back and show how I did it, basically. Kind that's of. right. Can and, I, and, oh. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead I wanted to free. say go that. Because um, right now in school, we're doing something with colleges and you know, um, what our careers is going to be. And if I do make it into sports, I'll do that. Like, I know I might do that in high school, mm -hmm. the high school days I go to. Football, that's my sport. But, like, if I don't do that or I might do that in something else, I will get a, wait, what's the, degree? the degrees again in college? Bachelor's. Associate degree. I might end up either getting a bachelor's or a doctoral, doctoral degree in zoologist. What's that? That's like when you study on animals and things like that. Animal handler, yes. zookeeper, or a marine biologist. Guess what? Or remember this, okay? Anytime something ends with ology, you know what that means? I'm smart. The study of. Mm -hmm. Remember that, okay? Mm -hmm. Anything that ends with ology means the study of. Anything that ends with gist, that means specialized in. You with me? Mm -hmm. When you use the word gist, they specialize in whatever particular subject that is. And what is ology? Uh. Think about it. Study of. Oh, you, yeah. you just said it's all right, that. That's okay. It's all right. Apology. Just remember that. Uh, and just mean specialized. specialized. Pops, we, we did a good deed. What? Tell me. Um, when I was on my way to church, 
My dad stopped the car because he seen a turtle crossing the street. It was a baby turtle. And he picked it up, you know, he put it in the grass so we could go to church. And he called Dante and Dante, when we came home, Dante put it in a bucket with rocks and a, a big rock so it could sit on. And it's on our back porch now in a big pot and we bought food for it. And wow. now it's our turtle. His name is Sweet Tea. But Dante don't know that. We made a, made a name for it. What? Now guess what? Su guess what? Sweet Tea. Guess what? <laughs> yeah. What if it's a boy? Do right. you know I'm proud of you? And Dante, do mm. you know what you just displayed? Um, I know it's Carl, but I can't say it. Karen. Caring. Caring. Loving. Loving. Consideration. Consideration. Admiration. Admiration. Guess what? 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 We do not have enough of that from young people. You felt for that turtle, didn't you? Yes. I don't want to. It looks See? miserable, but I don't want to give it away. And you, now you done gotten attached to the turtle, right? Mm -hmm. But guess what? The turtle is attached, to you as, as, is attached to you as well. Now, you can't get rid of that turtle if you want to. If you take that turtle and put it out on the porch, that turtle not going nowhere. Say to me why it's not going nowhere. Why, why it's not? not? That turtle know that it's been rescued. You don't took the turtle from nothing to something. You feed what are you feeding it? Um, turtle turtles. Food, is these sticks? Yeah, and lettuce, like yeah. We no, let it. What? We let it crawl in the house sometimes. But guess we what? don't know what it's guess eating. Y'all feeding that turtle gourmet food because if the turtle's out in the wild, guess what it'll be eating? Nothing. No insects. Oh yeah, like ants. Right. No, because no. that's what that's what they that's what they have an appetite for. But you all feeding the gourmet food. What do you get? What is the turtle getting? A lettuce and just turtle food. It's turtle sticks. Too. That turtle not going nowhere. That turtle understand. Wow, I'm getting the best treatment. Yeah, we're gonna have to. And y'all attached it. to it though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all love animals. Yep. yep. Cause we got a dog. You be playing with it too, Dante? Yeah, of course. Wait, with the dog? Y'all rescued turtle? that turtle. Oh. I play with both of them. I play with the turtle. Um, we play a game. I don't know. He crawls on me, and it feels ticklish, but it hurt at the same time. Is it huge? No, no it's really it's a, like a baby. Yeah. You know how the you know how the turtle protects itself? The sh shell. Put it put in the head inside. Yeah. Cause every time tucks I reach it, tucks, down, it ducks to get into it, the shell. It, but when you get it, it don't do that. When I pick it up. When it's nervous. Or I feel yeah. like it's in danger. Every time I reach my hand over, he does that. He thinks probably I'm going to do something bad. My dog smelled it and stuff. Yeah. But well, that's how the dog gets familiar with it. Yeah. The, the, the dog likes pets. She's a nice dog. She, yeah, that's she really likes to have friends. Really? Like, she have yeah, a she dog likes friend babies. down there. Like, if there's babies in the house, she knows not to, like, you know, bark or be all in the baby face. She's nice, right? Like, so that's yeah. not a vicious dog. No, she'll bark and try to act vicious, but she don't really do that. She try, yeah, she She like, plays with us and nip at us, but we don't. Uh, ask me, have a dog. Ask me why did I say that's not a vicious dog. Why? Why? The dog is just as much vicious as the owner. Whatever the owner's personality is, that reflects on the dog. Do all, are you aware of that? No. Yes. The dog's not vicious because you are not vicious. Mm, if y'all display that vicious attribute to the dog, the dog couldn't help but to display the same thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, right or wrong. Yeah, I never thought but about it. But you all, you know what? I, thought I said I never about thought it. about it. Yes. So the dog has the same personality you all have because how long the dog been around you? She's about to be five in July. You see that? Jeez. And guess what? The dog know y'all scent. Mm -hmm. The dog know when you feeling a little upset. The dog knows when you feel. When you, she know when we mad at her because she'll come right in my room. And jump on my bed, and I'd be like, I'm sorry, because I probably yelled at her or something. And she'll just lay there. But she know when I'm mad. And I know when she's mad. <laughs> What's the dog name? Sela. Say it again? Sela. Sela. It's in the Bible. It really? means meditate. So, Sela. I guess you, some people say it like that. Yeah, Sela. Mm hmm. All right. Selah. Say what's the turtle's name? Sweet tea. How'd you get that name? Because of tea being turtle? Sweet turtle? I didn't even think about that. Me and my grandma and my sister was in a store at Walmart, and I don't know. We just, we just came from McDonald's, and we had a sweet tea. And we was like, we should name it sweet tea. 
That's a hard part of the name. Did you share, did you also share them with your, your opinion on the name? No, no, because they didn't tell me. He just not noticed today. So it was a surprise pet for you, Doctor. No. Right? It was a surprise. It was a surprise, he mean a name. Oh, but say, say, yeah. say the word rescue. 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 Y'all rescued that turtle. Are y'all aware of that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. but and, you... and not only you rescued the turtle, you provided the turtle with a happy what? Home. Right? Shelter. Family. That's right. I think you want to leave. The turtle not going to go anywhere. Oh. Far. Well, I want to share with you all something, okay? I really, really appreciate you all taking out your time to be a part of Mr. Pop's neighborhood. And I hope, not hope, but I'm sure that other young people are going to see how you all conduct yourself. Mm -hmm. And that's going to show that y'all have leadership. You know that, right? Yes. yes. Y'all do have leadership. Are y'all aware of that? Yes. yes. It's a wonderful, wonderful day, day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood, and nobody can deny. That's all. Everything is all good and all good.